Science Journal for Kids and Teens presents Why Do Ducklings Swim in a Line Behind Their Mother? Adapted from the original peer-reviewed paper in the journal Fluid Mechanics, published on October 5, 2021. Research conducted by Zhe Ming Uin and Ming Lu Chen from the Department of Naval Architecture, Ocean, and Marine Engineering at the University of Strathclyde in the UK and the School of Naval Architecture and Ocean Engineering at Jiangsu University of Science and Technology in China, respectively. See the full list of authors and their affiliations in the accompanying PDF. Read by Miranda Wilson. Abstract. Have you ever seen baby ducks or geese swimming in line behind their mother? They're so cute. But why do they do that? Is it to keep everyone together? Or is it to make swimming easier for the babies? We wanted to figure out how swimming in a line benefits ducklings. We thought that swimming in a line behind the mother saves energy. Our research made us realize that if the ducklings try to swim in front or to the side of their mother, they need to use more energy. But if they swim behind her, they need less energy. We also learned that it is only easier at certain spots behind the mother. That's because at these spots, the waves created by the mother interact with the waves created by the ducklings. The resulting wave pushes the ducklings forward, saving lots of energy. Introduction. We all know that being the line leader is an important job. When you are the line leader, you help keep your classmates organized. But being the line leader might be even more important for birds that swim, like geese and ducks. Scientists have always thought that water birds moved in a line to save energy, but no one knew how it worked. We predicted that when ducks swim behind their mother, it lowers their wave drag. When an object moves through a fluid, like water or air, the air or water pushes against the object. We call this push drag. If you have ever been in a busy pool, then you know about wave drag. When people move in the water, they create waves. When you try to swim, these waves push against you, making it harder to swim. To test our hypothesis, we created a computer program to calculate the wave drag for ducklings. We found the wave drag in front of, behind, and to the side of the mother. We also figured out why the mother changes the duckling's wave drag. Here is an image of a family of geese swimming with the baby geese in a line behind the mother goose. Methods. Our computer program calculated a number called C. This number described what happened to the amount of wave drag. If C was between 0 and 99, there was less wave drag. If C was less than zero, there was more wave drag. If C was 100 or greater, the wave drag changed into a force that pushes the duckling forward. We made a few assumptions for our program. That means that for all calculations, the following were true. Wave drag is the only type of drag on the ducks. No matter which spot they swim in, the duck's size, shape, and feather type stayed the same. The ducks always move at the same speed, and the ducks always stay in a line. Results. We used our computer program to find C for three positions, in front of the mother, behind her, and to her side. We found that there are many spots with a high C behind the mother duck. These spots were at specific distances from the mother. We also learned that there aren't as many in front of her or to her side. Here in figure one, you can see the ducklings swim in the lowest part of the new wave created by the mother and the ducklings. The mother is at the right of the image with the ducklings trailing to her left. The ducklings are labeled one through six from right to left and correspond to the data in table one. When we looked at the spots with a high C more closely, we noticed that they didn't have the same value. C for the first two ducklings was greater than 100, 
C for all the other ducklings was 100. Here in Table 1, you can see the value of C for each duckling as they swim behind their mother. In the left-hand column of the table, you can see the duckling number that corresponds to Figure 1. In the right-hand column, you can see the value for C at each position. Looking at the data, what is the lowest C value for a duckling? Discussion. Our research proved that ducklings swim behind the mother because it is the best option. Our model showed only one spot in front with a very high C. That means most of the ducklings worked hard against wave drag. To the side, the mother's waves caused the ducklings to rotate. That means they worked harder to swim in the correct direction. Only swimming behind the mother made swimming easier for all the ducklings. Why is it easier to swim when C is 100 or greater? At these spots, the ducklings wave ride. That means they get a push forward, so they don't have to use as much energy to swim. Why does that happen? We found that when the mother swam, she created waves behind her. So did the ducklings. When these waves meet, they create a new wave. Scientists call this wave interference. At spots with a high C, this caused the duckling to sit in the lowest point of the new wave. That means they moved without having to work against the drag. The first two ducklings experienced more wave riding. That's because the mother's waves got smaller the farther away from her they moved. When her wave reached other ducklings, it wasn't big enough to push them forward. So how did these ducklings get a boost from the waves? The ducklings at the front of the line passed the wave energy back to the other ducklings. That made it easier for their siblings to swim. For wave riding and wave passing to work, the ducklings must swim at the same speed as their mother. They must also swim at the correct distance from her and the other ducklings. If they don't, they lose all the benefits of the line and must work hard to swim. Conclusion Understanding wave riding and wave passing in water birds like ducks and geese can help people. If boats traveled in a line, they could move using less energy. That means that we could save money and help the environment. You can also reduce wave drag. When you swim in a pool, remember that your motion affects other people. Make sure to give them space. That way, your waves won't increase their wave drag. Otherwise, it is harder for them to swim. And make sure that you have plenty of space too. Then everyone can enjoy the water without using extra energy. Thank you for listening to this recording. Visit our website, sciencejournalforkids.org, for more free science teaching resources.